How can I make money in Mexico? I want to move to Mexico. I want to move to Cabo. I want to move to Cancun. But how do I make money? Well, in this video, I'm going to go over all the different options you have being a foreigner, being an American, being a Canadian, being a wherever the heck you're from, all the different options you're going to have because Mexico in general is very nice to its foreigners. There's a lot of different opportunities. And in this video, you're going to learn a lot. So stick around to the end. Okay, so do I need to be able to speak Spanish to work in Mexico? Well, I'll tell you this, it definitely helps. Obviously, if you're in somebody else's country, you should be learning their language. Now, this is going to depend greatly on which city you are moving to. For example, if you're moving to Mexico City, you need to be able to speak some Spanish. If you're moving to Guadalajara, you need to be able to speak some Spanish. But if you're moving to any of the tourist cities like Cancun, Puerto Vallarta, here in Cabo San Lucas, really any of the tourist cities, you can definitely get by without knowing even a word of Spanish. I know people that have lived here for 20 years and they can say, hola, como estas? I feel that this is very lazy and not the way to do things. To answer your question, it is not at all necessary to know Spanish to get a job to work here and to make lots of money. However, I do recommend it. Okay, now if you are going to be moving to Mexico or really any country, you are going to need a work visa. Of course, there's some jobs under the table or something like that that you could probably do and get away with. When I was working in Thailand, obviously I coached MMA there, you know, got money under the table. I was a personal trainer. And of course I made money online. I'm actually gonna get into that later as well. You can make a ton of money online these days. It's not that difficult. A monkey could do it. If you will. But let's talk about Mexico, the jobs that you can do in Mexico and getting your work visa. Okay, so in Mexico, you are going to need to get first off your temporary residency. And then from there, you're going to need to get an RFC number. And this is the equivalent of in America, we have a social security number. After you have this, you're gonna need to actually go and get permission to work, sort of like a, a job, what would you call that? Mm -mm. So anyways, number one, temporary residency. Number two, your RFC number. And then number three, you're gonna have to get the job permit. It's got a little name. I'm gonna think of it and I'm gonna link it in here or something like that. After that, you can get a job and you can start to work for a normal company. That being said, Mexico in general doesn't have super high paying jobs. For example, the doctors, they're not gonna make a ton of money like they would in the States. Lawyers, they actually make okay money, but it's not quite like it was in the States. Teachers, for example. Teachers here in Mexico make very, very crappy money. So I know I'm giving you some things that you can't do, but one of the things you can do, if you are a specialist in something, for example, if you are a dive instructor, you can do very well in tourist cities like Cabo San Lucas, like Cancun, like Tulum, Playa del Carmen. If you are a boat captain, if you are any sort of specialist like this that is hard to find, you can come here, you can make a lot of money doing that. Surf instructors, these guys come here, make a killing. So any of these sort of water activities, if you're a specialist in this, get yourself to Cabo, make yourself some money. And talking about water sports, fishing. Cabo San Lucas is known for its fishing, fishing capital of the world. If you are an expert in fishing, if you are an expert fisherman and you can, you know, really pull in those big boys, you can do well out here, especially if you have your own boat, especially if you have your own crew, things like that. But if not, somebody definitely will pick you up and you can get a job out there on those pulling in those big boys. All right, next up, if you're watching this video, probably you speak English. Well, guess what? You can teach English. This isn't the highest paying job in the world, but there's so many different platforms now where you can teach English. And if you're good at it, you have a good camera, you have a good high speed internet, you can charge a premium. Prelie is a very good one. I actually used that when I was learning to speak Spanish and you could do the same to teach English. When I was living in Thailand, a lot of people used to teach English there. Just regular people that, you know, probably didn't even have a high school degree. Sometimes these guys would get jobs at these big prestigious schools and really they had no formal education. And that's because just being American or being Canadian, your English is going to be so much better than everybody else that it's gonna give you a big upper hand and you're definitely gonna be able to get those kind of jobs even with no sort of degree whatsoever. So that's definitely one option. 
Another way that people make a lot of money out here, or at least people try to, because I see some pretty bad ones and I see some good ones as well, is being a property manager. So what does that mean? It means a lot of people come out here and invest in Cabo San Lucas or invest in Playa del Carmen, invest in Cancun, but they need somebody to take care of these properties and to help them manage all of these different properties. Well, if you know the area, if you're good at people, if you're good at outsourcing and finding cleaners and things like that, there's people that I know that have built very big businesses managing people's properties. Now these range from typically $150 to $200 a month. You charge the person a flat fee to take care of the cleaning, pay the bills, everything like that. And then you can also charge for the marketing of the property. Let's say you put the property on Airbnb for $1,000 a month. You would charge a 20% commission. You're making 20% off of every booking that comes in. So that can equivalent to a lot of money if you have a lot of properties. Okay, real estate. You guys are probably wondering about real estate because you guys know I do real estate here. I do pretty well for myself. A lot of people here do very well for themselves in Cabo San Lucas, and there's lots of other good markets here in Mexico as well. Obviously, you've got Tulum, Cancun, Puerto Vallarta, all these other places where you can do very well in real estate. But I will tell you this, the competition is hard. So if you're not good at sales, if you're not good at marketing, if you don't have a big background in it, it might not be for you. I'll tell you this, here in Cabo San Lucas, we have roughly 1,400 properties on MLS and 2,000 real estate agents. That means a lot of people try to be realtors, but a lot of people are not very good. That being said, you for sure can still do it. Actually, at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you how you can make money without getting your real estate license, without really doing any work, just having network skills. I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can make a ton of money and how actually I pay people a ton of money. But yeah, it's a pretty good way to get into real estate and just to get the ball rolling. Next up, Digital nomad. Your boy here was a digital nomad for a long time. I built up internet businesses, sold them. To this day, I still receive a ton of money. I receive quite a fair amount of money monthly. That is uh, passive income. And that's because I put in a ton of work earlier in my life and I still receive royalties on that. So we live in a digital world. It's so easy to make money online now. Anybody can do it. Whether or not you wanna open up advertising agency you could open up a book publishing company like I did there is so many different ways you have an Amazon business eBay Etsy I mean the list goes on and on and on making money online is very easy also there are so many jobs now that I have opened up to where you can do your job remotely you can do it right from your desktop possibly you need to talk to your to your boss and say hey I want to work from my computer I'd like to move to Mexico leverage my life yeah there's a lot of jobs opening up to that as well okay next up on the list is making your own business in Mexico whether it's a kick in here in Cabo or Cancun the thing about opening a business here you have to do the same thing that you did if you were going to get a job so after that though you can start a business here and some of the great things about starting a business here is for one employee cost is less taxes typically are less your overhead in general is much less than in America than in Canada than in so many other countries so for that reason Cabo can be an amazing place to start a business. I'm gonna make a whole other video. I'm gonna probably put it up here, but a video on all the best businesses that I think are good for foreigners to do inside of Mexico, but there is a ton ranging from bars, coffee shops, call centers, nightclubs, rental services, car rentals. I mean, on and on and on. So many businesses here. And to be honest, a lot of times the competition isn't that strong. Coming from America, we have a little bit of a higher standard in business. So we could leverage that to really maximize our capability here in Mexico and really make a strong business. All right, so let's say you wanna make money in real estate but you don't want to get your real estate license. You don't want to have to do all the negotiating. You don't want to have to do all this work. Well, guess what? It's pretty easy. All you have to do is send me a referral. Instead of selling the property, you just have to sell me. And I'm a pretty easy sale. I am the number one agent here in Cabo San Lucas. I am the top producer every month here at Keller Williams, Cabo One. 
you know what's up. It's an easy sell because honestly, you're giving them the best realtor and then I'm giving you a referral for giving me that business. I have a number of affiliates that make a lot of money simply by selling me. So all you have to do is send me a message. I send you a contract. You get set up on that affiliate contract. And then when I sell the deal, for example, let's say you have an aunt. She wants to sell her. She has a piece of land in Toro Santos. Well, you call me. I go out, give her a quote on that price. I give her a estimate on the property. We sign her up. We sell that property for her. Once that property sells, you would receive a commission. Or let's say, for example, you live here, your friend's coming down here and he wants to look at some million dollar mansions. Well, you give him my number, I take him out, show him the properties. After we purchase the property, I receive my commission, you would receive a referral fee. Now with that money, you can do whatever you want with it. You can go to the club, you can make it rain, you can donate it to charity, you could give it back to your friend as a real discount, whatever you like, makes no difference to me. But I have a lot of people here that make a lot of money simply referring me business. So one of the main things about real estate is simply networking and learning how to network. And so if you can network, you can make a ton of money just on referrals. All right, guys, I just wanna say thank you so much. If you guys could please hit that like and subscribe. I'm gonna be making some more videos, helping you guys out with whatever you guys need. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you guys so much.